so this is going to be our part three of the video fully the last one if i can cover everything that i wish to cover so here it will be a more technical or a more engineering uh video also again it's my intention won't be getting the correct answer as usual my intention is show you how to do it so things like units and all those things i didn't take into account while doing all of these series three videos that i've been doing so uh we're going to work with more technical terms now because plotting and everything is done so it's literally answering simple questions so we're going to answer things like what is elongation elongation is like how much um let me say this is how much the beam was after being stressed it ended up being like this so we're trying to find out how much the change actually happened so there we're just going to find the maximum um um maximum displacement of which that is going to be our our thing our okay so cool let's say we're trying to find the elongation elongation right so hopefully okay we're trying to do elongation okay we okay what is elongation is equals to um we're trying to find the max here so it's so say max of all of these okay did i let me check i don't know if i did something wrong but okay i'm trying to find the max from here to here actually we can see the max is here but i'm trying to get make use of excel so that it's easy if you change some data it can easily update so that's yeah, our elongation what else can we find mm. we can find things like tensile strength yeah let's find something like tensile strength okay put my pen down okay let's find things like our tensile uh tensile strength I obviously ruined some spelling there. Not yet. Mm, what well, doesn't so oh, yes, I obviously ruined it. But uh I won't fix it. Okay, since our strength is going to be a maximum um the maximum stress. So same thing is going to equal to max max on here. Okay that is going to be our max if you can see where it is zero five this one is the biggest number you can get on the stress okay um what else we can find we also know that we should find things like your young modulus so you know your long mo young modulus is um you see when this graph is starting here it's kind of linear so it's a slope let me say this is a line this is a slope so before the material start to deform badly somehow or misbehave there is some part where it's proper behaving elastic we call it elastic region engineering so we're trying to find a slope for this line so here you can't really see the slope because this thing really look deep, deep i mean um not gently steep okay so we want to find our young modulus of which young modulus is given by change in stress or over change in strain or just the current of the line so i think it would be useful just to plot another plot of which is going to be a shorter or the the plot that can actually show us the very um the very straight part of the region let's insert a chart skaters and i like um skaters okay why there is data here i didn't put any data let me delete that maybe i click some data by mistake okay i said insert i'm trying to get a scatter with curve with no data i like that then i can put it aside and try to put what data am i putting so i'm let me just put first three at least mm let's say we add new data select new data and that's what we've been doing lately okay add 
uh, it's still going to have the same name right uh, and on the x still going to be strain but very specific let's pick the first tree because we hope somewhere there it is straight okay cool and then on the y let's put stress as the other one but we're specifically taking first three okay cool so from here you can see that we also got we got a very straight line type of plot of which literally if i have to be this is literally zooming out this region and then if i zoom out i get this big chart because literally if i zoom in here there is a straight slope so now we're trying to find a gradient of the slope and that's that is called young's modulus okay that's nice and let's do it so from our plot this let me increase it because that our focal point for now so we're going to click our data point and, and then until it shows that i just double tap and then obviously it's linear okay and then i go down and i'm saying as uh, show the equation display the equation on chart okay now we just got 219 okay that is going to be our young modulus this is the more technical and easy way of doing it okay let me put that on a side how will you've done it maybe the uh the way that i normally did it in the past we call it young modulus right so young modulus is literally gradient right so i can say um change in y our y is so let me say this one um minus that one okay Brackets are very recommended in this type of things so that uh, the computer won't be confused which one are you actually which one are you dividing or subtracting or what's not okay so it's supposed to be a bracket okay and then that was our change in y then we do our change in x it's going to be this one minus that one okay i don't know what i did let's see why our answer is not the same as that one okay let's investigate okay it's more than obvious i use multiply here instead of divide it's supposed to divide so 219 and remember this plot gave us 219 also so that's our young modulus but here we got it more precise if i should say then on what else you need to do we already have our young modulus and i'm trying to tackle all the technical terms the part that i've been avoiding is the last part of finding the area of which you know the area is rise the ah what is it it's just toughness yeah toughness so i'm supposed to let me just move this plot i don't need it now i'm interested in this one i didn't remove it by the way i just pushed it lower just in case someone is like do we have to remove it you know if you're following instead from youtube you're actually doing stuff they don't even need to show just because someone just did it okay so that's cool we now have our plot so we're trying to find something that we call we call it um toughness toughness is literally the area i'm trying to find the area below this whole function so we're trying to achieve that how do we actually do that so the, the trick around this is that you look at this shape what is the name of the shape it's kind of look like that you, you calculate an error of the shape and remember there are a lot of these shapes that i can't even i don't even remember its name there's another one here there's another one there's another one here there is another one here but if you notice very well these are literally the same shapes how they look okay let me this is just for your visuals let me just draw how these shapes look so the inspiration will be from that anyway so we're literally having a side straight and the side and the side and the side okay how do we compute that so 
if you want to complete this area we're going to name this side uh, some things let me say i call this one a i call this one b and i'll call this one h Did you remember this thing why is it it's just somewhere here in your graph just some specific one I'm just writing in skeleton so an area is going to equals to a plus b all over 2 multiplied by h so we're supposed to express this inside excel right and this this formula so the name of the shape by the way if you want to check it's a trapezium so we're literally trying to calculate a lot of areas of trapezium honestly you know that if you were doing um if you're supposed to integrate right this is literally a more a, an easier version of integration because we don't know the the the, the rule for this curve so it, actually adding small trapezium really make more sense even though it will have some sort of errors but not that bad not that bad errors okay cool let's start doing to do this thing so we're trying to add, what we're trying to get area right what we said about area i said it's going to be b minus plus a so b plus a are literally the y's right the y's are your heart your stress so it's going to be that okay let me come here so it's an equal sign it's going to be that plus that okay you know my common mistake i was supposed to start with what with bracket i don't know how i never got that right okay it's going to be change i mean this plus some of the the y's okay okay cool this was a plus b then what are we trying to divide or multiply not divide multiply by h h if you look carefully here h is literally the difference in the axis so i'm going to do almost the same thing have bracket go back inside those brackets okay then i'll have one now I'll say change in x is going to be this one uh minus that one okay uh okay what did it do okay oh, put multiply for me okay cool i'm supposed to multiply by h okay that's nice okay with that being said we can now drag along and do all the math for all of them right cool so why why there is something negative here okay let me do it again let me do more really more honestly okay cool so actually let me do till this far can i add that's the negative one okay cool we're on the positive one why we get the negative one is because this thing is trying to uh, overlap it's even calculating the last part that would make it wrong and be negative so that's how much then if you want to get the whole area let's just say area under the curve okay you know you know your excel right you're going to say sum sum what am i summing i'm trying to sum all of these things till here so we call that your toughness that is going to be your area below the whole curve so okay excel is misbehaving now we know the area and then we call that toughness right okay let me put that on the side what did we call that we said it was toughness uh tough spelled like that no tough is let's no, just put toughness. just tough is fine we're going to just to get toughness equal sign let's get it from this number okay we're good so now we're good to go we can now take all these numbers round them here is a pattern for rounding up and rounding down okay depending on the number of decimal place that you want to achieve i think now it's kind of look good not too busy okay that was it so thank you for following on the the whole series if there's something that you didn't understand you can comment and then i'll do a video on how to do that but i think this is enough
Thank you.